Have you seen this? They're called the Greenies. <laughs> the most common time to get those Greenies is during the nail fill. Super important to know how to prepare your nails before you fill them so you don't get the nasty Greenies. I'm going to show you how to do that today. Let's get started. So today is special because I have a real live guest who is as passionate about nails as I am. Katie here. She loves nails. I do. So we're going to get together today and show you what, what, what I was talking about with the, when it comes to the greenies. You have a beautiful set of nails that you did. And we were out last night talking and her nails are going like this. And I thought they look so good. I can't wait to get a closer look. So when you look at them, they look good. But if you zoom in a little, she needs a fill. So she has, you You did a little cuticle work and sort of tidied up a little. I did. It's a little trick. Yep. You obviously caught on to that. Yep. Just to give it a little bit longer life. Yeah. Yep. That's a great trick. So what she did was she needs a fill and she was holding off for this video. So she tidied up the cuticles, put some gel polish on to make it look a little bit smooth. And she did a really good job. They actually look pretty good. And I'm so happy that I have a real live hand with somebody with passion about nails. And we're going to attack this set. So... This video is about the greenies and every single nail technician, when they sit down to do a nail fill, the number one thing they need to be thinking about is I need to prepare this set so that it does not never get the greenies with the fill that I'm about to put on. So we have a gel on there right now. So I'm going to zip that gel off and then we're going to see what's under there. And every hand, every finger tells a story. And once we take it off, we can find out what the story is that her hand is telling. Okay, I'm just going to grab my mask. Okay, so I'm going to rip off this gel and we're going to get a look under there and see exactly what's going on. And I always like to wear a mask with the gel. Gel is a bit of a lighter product and it tends to fly, especially in my breathing zone, which is right here. So we're just going to rip this off real quick. So Katie, how long have you been doing nails? Two years. Oh, wow. Okay. And where did you learn? Watching your videos. You did watch them. I did. Okay. I awesome. watched all your videos. Wow. Just as the pandemic was hitting. Okay. Because mm -hmm. um, we didn't really have a whole lot of to do and where to go. Yep. So. <laughs> so you took it upon yourself? Taught myself some nails. Good for you. That's awesome. I had a bunch of fun doing it. Okay. That's fantastic. Well, that's how Katie and I met is through a mutual friend. She's a musician, mm -hmm. and she's the singer of my friend's band. And um, I, well, I was hanging out with a friend, and you were there visiting. I saw her nails, and I thought, ooh, she loves nails. Let's let's join together this mm -hmm. passion that we have. Okay, so I almost got all the gel off. Okay, so the first question I'm going to ask you is, do you know what the greenies are? I do, from watching okay. your videos. Oh, yeah, okay. I okay. do. Have you ever experienced or seen it? Once. Oh, you did? I okay. had one problem with it, when, and it was actually on this nail that I had it. Okay. Um, so because this is my dominant hand, I do get yeah. the most lifting on my pointer and my index finger there. Okay. Well, and I'll tell you why. It is the longest finger. Mm -hmm. And also, too, uh, do you write with a pen every now and then? Yes, I do. Okay. So what happens is when you're writing with a pen... You put pressure. Yes. Oh. That, I can see that. A little, I could tell you wrote with a pen a little because there's a tiny little bump here. Yeah. And your pen leans against there. And at the same time, it leans, it pushes the whole finger. Right. So naturally, product won't bend with no. your finger or no. your nail. Okay. So your product will pop. And that's always where I get any lifting. Do you have a chronic lift right there? Right the there. Time? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And and under there, that's where I got the greenies. It's just under oh, there. It was okay. a tiny little bit. Okay. And I was really shocked. And I went, oh, yeah. Susie talks about the greenies. Right. I got the greenies. <laughs> Now, in all fairness, do you know when you got the green, was it an actual greenish color or was it just maybe debris? No, it was greeny brown. Okay. And I really had, I was sort of stuck to the natural nail. So I okay. really had to file a little bit of the okay. natural nail off so that it, it left. So you did come across it. Okay. So yes. how that happens is this is why a nail fill is so crucially important in how you prepare it. Even though you don't see a greenie, 
we have to prepare it a certain way so you never get it because it can be microscopic. It, I was shocked because yeah. there was nothing outside. You couldn't yep. see. And when I took everything down, that's when I it shocked me. Got you. I, I didn't know it was there. Okay, so... Now, I'm not saying that she doesn't know how to do a nail fill. In fact, she actually does a pretty good job. This is her worst hand. Mm -hmm. This is her dominant hand. So, of course, we do it with our, uh, how does that work now? This is your dominant hand. Yes. So, naturally, yes. uh, it's going to be the worst one because you're doing it with the opposite hand. So, it's not as good as that one. But I wanted to use this one because I knew it would be worse and we'd see more lift, which mm -hmm. really helps the story. Absolutely. So, what I'm seeing right here in, is this. Do you see this whiteness area in here? Mm -hmm. See all around there? This is a, a, a little lift right here. So, here's a comparison for Katie's index fingers. This is her right hand. This is her left hand. And you can see how much better she is at doing her good hand. And look at the dominant hand is all lifted because she's doing it with the opposite hand. But that is case in point. So this this is like two different levels. Mm -hmm. This is, you know, really kind of just learning and getting into it. And this was got a little more experience. So it really gives you an idea of what you're looking at. Okay, so you can keep that one for a sec. So what a greenie is, is when you have a pocket like this or a pocket like this, and you've even got a little bit on your thumb. Mm -hmm. You can't see it as much. But when I start digging, you're really going to see that. So these are the two focus areas. She's got quite a pocket here and here. This is why I always say when you're prepping a nail fill, you must remove every single bit of lifted area. Now, because I know Katie can do a good job, she is removing all these little pockets. My suspicion is, Katie, what happened was you filled your nails. And because you got saw the greening on this finger, you were using your pen during that two or three weeks. Mm -hmm. You leaned it against and a little bacteria got up in there. And all it is is a little bit of debris and moisture. And it's a little bit um, tight in there. Like It's, it's trapped. Yeah, it gets Thank trapped. Thank you. My words lately do That's not come okay. as easily. <laughs> so it was a trapped little bacteria. And it doesn't take very long for it to grow. Now, when she went to fill it, that's when she noticed it. But if you didn't notice it and you left a pocket like this, there could be a little bacteria in there right now. Little little pseudomonas growing and we don't even know it. If we don't lift that up and put more product on, it, now it's going to have more time to grow. Mm -hmm. Now it's going to be up here. And now it's going to be a darker green and a bluier green. I've got some photos for that to show you. Here are some examples of the stages of progression. If you do not remove the lifted areas of enhancement during the nail fill, this can happen. Ooh. Ooh is right. Ooh. And then if a technician doesn't notice, let's say you were using colors and you didn't see it, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And you pile more product on. And so it burrows into the nail and gets grosser and deeper and it ruins more of the layers of your natural nail. What you found was just a little beginning of it. I did, yeah. So you took off the lifted area, you cleaned it, you buffed it, and mm -hmm. you buffed most of it out. Yep. Now it just left kind of a stain, yep. a greeny stain, hence the greenies. So you saved yourself from... If you didn't recognize that or just, you probably just went because you just went, ew. Yes, <laughs> You're just did. instinct. Yeah. It, was just, it was literally an ew because as you say, I was getting all of the lift off and then a big piece came off. And I, ew, what is that? What is that? <laughs> yeah. yeah, good for you. And that's why I always say, you don't have to wait till it's green, of course, but anything that's white, lifted, discolored, lifting, moving, anything like get rid of it because we don't want that to start. Mm -hmm. So you saved yourself from getting a big greenie just by paying attention to that little baby start. That well, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's awesome. <laughs> so what we're going to do right now is I'm going to show you how much we need to buff off. Actually, I need that bit. We're going to show you how much we need to buff off to prepare that nail and what it looks like. You might be surprised sometimes. Sometimes you're like, you took that much off? Mm -hmm. We did. So let's just start with this little pocket lift you got here. And we're just going to get in here and get that. So what I do when I'm filing a lift like that is I sort of treat it like a door, like the pocket lift part is the door that will open. And this line right here, if you can see that line, mm -hmm. see that line? Where you can see lifted and then the pink part? The pink part is attached. Yes. The white is not. So I sort of try to sever between, like almost like releasing the hinges on a door. Okay. Yeah. And I will work at that a little and I'll do little stabs like this because it's a tender area mm -hmm. and it's kind of thin. So I'll kind of poke away. And then sometimes you can take an edge of something or your nail, but it won't work yet. And you can, then you just lift the door open. <laughs> Pop it off. Yeah.
Okay, let me see if I can get my little, this is the only time I'll use nippers or anything is to help something come off, but I won't pry it. If it's given me any resistance whatsoever, I won't do it. Right? Okay. Because then maybe it's just not, not lifted enough. So I'm just going to see if, oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. See that little door? It's paper thin. Okay. There we go. It's very happy. Now I can tell that Katie's doing, actually with your opposite hand, Katie, you did a pretty good job. Thank you. And the reason being is because when I took that little pocket lift, which is caused from your pen, mm -hmm. you don't have any around the other areas. Okay. Right? Okay, yeah. Yeah, so that's really good. And showing that she did it diligently, you took it off, because if you didn't take it off and pile more product on, I would see a, a whitish area here. And it maybe travel. even the greenie in it if you got one in it, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Greenie doesn't need much. No. Prompting. All it needs is a trapped, moist, dirty area to grow. Well, That's and your hands are dirty and moist. Oh, and hands are in everything. Yeah. yeah. And always touching things. Exactly. And I'm not surprised that the index finger is not as happy because it's an index finger. Mm. And they are hard to do. And this is my right hand. And this is her opposite hand. They're very hard to do. So okay, right now we're going to do the same thing. That little pocket that she's got right there. I'm just sort of finding the point where they're joined together and I'm just separating them. And when I'm doing this, I do it in little bursts again. And I will ask the client, if it feels a little warm, just let me know. And then they can give me a little indication. But before they tell you, they usually kind of pull a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just like pull away a little naturally, I would. It can get hot. Yeah. And that's friction, right? Mm -hmm. The closer you can get to it, too, it gets a little pinker. Mm -hmm. That's because you're getting closer to the actual nail than the actual natural nail. And you can see the blood supply, which is very healthy. Nothing wrong with that. Sometimes if you want to go over the lifted part, depending on how thin it is, it can just flake right off as well. You can see it starting to flake. See that? Mm-hmm. I would never have left them this long, but I knew it was coming. Well, so. I told you. I don't touch them. Don't touch them. She knows I need to fill. I said, don't touch them. <laughs> <laughs> and she didn't touch them. That's great. So I don't know if you noticed, but I didn't really push the cuticles back or anything because these are grown out a little bit and I just wanted to get at them. Look at this one. It's great. Look at that. That, that cuticle's for the opposite hand. That's really good. Oh, I'm quite chuffed. Oh, <laughs> yeah. No, that's really great. Good for you. I mean, I know you're teaching yourself and you're watching on YouTube and stuff. And it's so easy to just bring someone on here and just pick their work apart, which was our goal. It was sort yes. of a, a critique, a, a nice, friendly, constructive critique. But let's not forget all the things that Katie did right. And I think I'm going to bring that up right now because it's pretty amazing, actually. If you ever give up music, she should do nails. Okay, so what she is doing right, I absolutely love First of all, she has great harmony. You have great harmony. Thank you. With all of you. Yeah, music-wise I'm a well. musician, so I'll take it. <laughs> so the harmony in the nails is they're all very complementary to each other. You're keeping the same shape, the same length. And you are following virtually the third, third, and third rule is you've got a pretty nice long nail bed, and she's, you cut that in half, and you go that much longer. They're a little longer, but she's grown into that. She's got natural nail underneath, which is giving her a ton of strength. Also, too, is... You've been doing the fills really good and taking off all the product. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we would see, I would be able to see it. Yes. Yeah, that would be the telltale for me mm -hmm. to see. And you, so you're removing that beautifully. And the shape, you, I think I mentioned that, but the shape you're doing really good too. Thank so you. you're doing a lot of things so amazingly good that um, you made my job filling easy. And that's a good case in point because when you first started, your fill probably took a lot longer. Oh, it was forever. Right. Yeah. But the better you get at it and mm -hmm. your finishing work, they grow out smoother, less work to renovate before mm -hmm. you fill. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's get at that thumb and see what we got under there. Okay. So I am just going to take away some bulk here and smooth it out and see what I've got underneath here. Actually, it's looking pretty good. You got, is this a different color than the other product? So I gave my dog a cookie and she accidentally bit my nail. So okay, so right. I, this one is newer than the yeah, other it, one. Yeah, it's not as grown out, which yeah. is fine. But it's the same color that you used? Or it's just, just it looks like a newer fill maybe? That's what it is. Newer fill. Okay. So look at that. It looks really good, really smooth. Okay, that one wasn't near as bad as I thought it was going to be. Okay. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to buff up the rest of it. And I'll show you exactly what it looks like before we actually fill it. And I actually use my, I don't know if you do this, Katie, but I don't take the time to actually push the cuticle back. I do it with my drill bit. Okay. So I will go like this. I'll get a sanding band because they're quite gentle for preparing the natural nail bed. So I'll go in a lower setting and then I'll push the cuticle back at the same time. Okay. That's very, very effective. And I'm, so what I'm doing is removing icky sticky cuticle mm -hmm. and I'm pushing your cuticle gently back with the sanding bit. I will push the cuticles back and but you can. sometimes there's like a weird ridgy line and it's not it's not product, so I'm like, is that cuticle that's growing that I'm buffing off? I don't It could know. be. Okay. It also could be maybe um, you've gone around the cuticle and you've gone into the natural nail plate a little bit and it's leaving a tiny little lip. Okay. That could be. And if you're seeing any uh, redness around there, then you're going too deep into the cuticle. Never redness, mm -hmm. but I, there okay, was a you're... little lip and I was like, what is no, this? I think that's just a okay. bit of the cuticle. So that's what this bit is really good for, is just grinding that cuticle right off. Mm-hmm. So Katie, what kind of music do you sing? And where would I find you? You can find me on Spotify. Yeah, what is, what I, would I you have, be called? Oh, yeah. Katie Campbell is my name. And I have three albums out and a few different singles. And I'll have another single out very soon. And I'm also on YouTube. I've got two music videos oh, wow. on YouTube. Awesome. But every day you can find me on TikTok. That's where I will be. Katie That's Campbell. where I see you yes, all the time. all the time. Yeah. Um, my handle is Katie Campbell underscore 1983. So find me there. Awesome. Now, I have seen your videos, and that's when I noticed that you had nails on, and that's when my friend mentioned... I think I mentioned to him and he goes, oh, yeah, she does nails. She watches your videos. Yes, and I do. That's how we kind of, you know, kind of put two and two together. And that's when I got the idea. Oh, she loves nails. And when I talked to you, I realized how much I do you love nails. I, I mean, do. obviously music and your family first. Yes. But nails fall pretty close. <laughs> but it's nice to have the nails and for your music videos and stuff because you're so front and center. Well, for me, it's more self-care, too. I've always liked nails. And as you know, if you want anything of any... How do I say that? Good mm -hmm. nails cost money, just like good cake. I was a cake decorator for a few years. Oh. And if you want to have a nice looking decorated cake, you got to pay the money for it. And same with nails. Yeah. Um, but I work part time and I'm a musician. So, you know, the starving artist thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Taught myself. So do you just always do your own nails or have you ever done anybody else's nails? I tried the first summer that I was doing this. So this is my, what, third summer doing nails, doing my own nails. And I tried the first summer, but nobody came back. Oh, I offered a couple <laughs> of friends and nobody came back. So, And it really doesn't matter to you so much because not really. that's not really what you want to no. do. But. I mean, I would if anybody wanted them done. Well, but. and that's interesting. I mean, um, we can get into that another time, I suppose. But why didn't they come back? It could have been that they really only did it the one time just because they were it doing me. it with you and hanging yeah. out. And hanging out. That could be it. That's fine. And that's sometimes how you can get a client. But that may be why they did it. But if you don't want to pursue it as, as you know, looking for clients, then it's probably really doesn't really matter too much. But it is important to know that doing yourself is quite different. It's than very doing different. Else. The angles and even how you hold the drill, yeah. it's all very, very different. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Okay, so this is, I just want to get a good look at this. Okay, so let's just quickly analyze what we've done and see if this is actually ready for a nail fill. Okay. So I have taken away, oh, there's one little thing right there. Let me see what that is. It's not, it's not going to make or break the nails. See that little tiny thing? It's not going to make or break. It's not going to cause a green. Just that little white fleck. Just that little, yeah, because if we go to any type of clear nude, you might see it. I'm just going to take that off because me no likey. That's it. Not a big deal, just more aesthetic than anything. Okay, this hand is totally ready for a nail fill and completely greeny opportunity free. In other words... There's no chance that a greenie is going to happen once you finish filling this. If you left any of those little white pocket areas, you might. Not to say that you will. No. It's just it might. Might happen. Okay, Katie. So your nails are all now perfectly ready for a fill. That looks good. I like that. Okay, so if you want to see a fill, check this video out and it'll show you the details of what to do after you get them to this state. Check it out.